All right, so what we're going to talk about is this 5000 ISO. The Vericam is comparable to the other cameras that you've worked with because it has uh, the same native ISO of 800. It has uh, about the same stops of um, uh, an Alexa and a Dragon, things like that. They're very, very comparable to one another. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to go down, and Jim's going to come up with this meter. So, Keenan, why don't you grab the lights? I know it's going to get very dark in here. Uh, but we've routed the camera to the projector again. We're going to light this scene as one foot candle. So um, what we've got is one foot candle. This is gamma corrected. And what we're also looking at is 800 ISO. This is what you would expect with one foot candle. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to bypass everything and go to the original signal. So you're going to look at log here. This is V-log once this updates in the camera. Okay, so this is the V-log in the camera at 800. So for those of you that have looked at a lot of 800 uh, at one foot candle, this is probably what an Alexa or a Dragon or any of these cameras would generally look like. But of course, this is not enough light to expose. This is not enough light to actually get exposure. And if we were to shoot this, we would have to bury the black so much that it would become extremely contrasty. So a lot of times, shots like this get too contrasty. We don't want it to be so contrasty. So what I want you to do is take the camera to 4,000 ISO. So we're going to go to 4,000 ISO. Call, call them out as you're doing it. So at 4,000 ISO, for those of you that have seen 4,000, would you say this looks appropriate for a gain? How many stops is that? Two and two-thirds. Two and two-thirds? Would this look appropriate for a 4,000 push? of a noise floor. The noise floor is obviously being boosted. We have a, an artificial electronic boosting or gain of the 800. So this looks pretty normal, right? Okay. Now, the camera has two native ISOs. So when we switch to 5000 in a moment, it's going to click over to its other native capacitor that allows it to re-clock at 5000. So Aaron, take us to 5000. There it is. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so this is now two and two thirds stops pushed, but we've reset the clock. So now if you go to 6,000 and, and, and up, you are working at 5,000 as your new baseline. So you can push this camera further than, this is like night vision goggles here. So we're lit at one, uh, foot candle, right? One, we're at one, right? So if I add my CDL back on it, now let's give a little, put a little meat on the bones for this uh, picture. And then we'll put, let's have some fun. We'll push this and see how far it goes. All of a sudden you'll just get more noise, right? That's what's going to happen. But we'll take a look here. I think a real value of being able to shoot at 5,000 is that you can work at the same light levels, but now you can shoot 120 frames and, uh, you know, still get an exposure. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So I'm in my CDL here, and uh, I'm going to sculpt a little picture, give us a little more um, saturation here. And I could, I could even stretch it a little bit with my CDL, so I'm now... Okay, so there's my kind of sepia-ish kind of looking thing. So again... Um, just to, to knock this home, I'm going to go to uh, bypassing my color, there we go, and then adding my graded, and now, um, Aaron, let's just drop it back to 4000 ISO again, just so we can see 4000 ISO, that's your 4000, so that's 800 push to 4000, drop to 5000, I'll add my LUT, and now, so let's look at, is that 10? We'll hold at 10. So if I were grading this at 10, now again, this is at 2.8 here. We could probably stop down a little bit. Um, so I'm now adjusting this with the CDL. So I'm using the wireless CDL here to kind of create a little bit of mood uh, in this picture because it's too bright. Like literally off her back, this is too bright. You can see her with your naked eye. Those of you on the left can see quite a bit better. 
uh, you can see the density of that backlight um, electronically versus um, on the project uh, uh, to your eye are made very different. So bringing this down uh, would would help it match quite a bit more. So it's actually pretty cool uh, that we can do that. So I can add a little more into there. This is ten thousand. Yeah, still ten thousand. Call it, Aaron. There's five. Okay. So there's our 5,000. I'll put our graded result back on. Now I've, I had it graded for, yeah, for 10. So I got to bring everything back to life. And again, the 5,000 looking at the original. There's your 5,000. One more time, Aaron, show them 4,000. Now go down to 800. Let's look at 800 with the LUT on. I just want to burn this into your minds, right? So if I turn the light on and we go to 800, with the look that I had, this is what 800 at 2.8 produces. <laughs> and now without touching it, we'll go up to 5,000. There's our crunchy results. So um, it's, it's pretty exciting stuff to be able to photograph this way. And hopefully you can uh, get a sense of uh, the depth of this. Um, it's very, very exciting to be able to have this type of technology and uh, I'm really excited to see what cinematographers do with that. So.